Okay, let's talk about a responsibility matrix. In this example, we're going to talk about a RASCI, and RASCI stands for five roles, responsible, accountable, support, consulted, and informed. And if you notice on the matrix, we have five positions listed across the top horizontal axis, and we have six activities or tasks listed on the vertical left axis. And then we would simply assign a role to each position that's associated with an activity. So it may be a responsible or accountable or informed as it, in the example of activity number one. Now I'd like to suggest that there are several variations of responsibility matrix. Here are some listed. And each of these variations has a role of responsible as well as a role of informed. And then many of them have uh, the role of accountable or authority and then consulted, support, and the role of task, or omitted, verifier, and signatory. So there are a variety of roles that are associated with each of these uh, responsibility matrices, and you should choose the one that best fits your industry and your business. So let's talk about the five roles associated with a RASCI matrix. The first role is responsible, and there will only be one responsible position assigned for each activity. That's the person that performs the activity. The next role is accountable. And this role is the decision maker or the delegator of the activity to the responsible role. And occasionally you may have an activity where the accountable and responsible is the same position or person. You have the role of support this role serves to support the responsible position to complete the activity. And there may be more than one position or person that's in a support role. The next role is the role of consulted. This position provides input on the activity to the responsible position. And this person or position is typically a subject matter expert on the activity being performed. And the final role is informed. This position is kept up to date on the activity as it's, each of those are completed. And there may be more than one position or person that's in the role of informed. So let's take a look at a swim lane map. This is what I like to use as an, as an input to a responsibility matrix. This is a process map. Uh, for IT application development. It's a swim lane map, also known as a deployment flowchart. And you'll notice there are five positions or five functions, a requester, a developer, a developer manager, a requester manager, and an end user. And there, there are several activities or process steps throughout this process. What we would do then is to take this swim lane map and to transfer this information onto a responsibility matrix. So here's the RASCI matrix with all the process steps or activities from the swim lane map and all of the positions or functions associated with IT application development. So for the first process step, you'll notice the requester is responsible to request the application the developer manager is accountable, and the developer, requester manager, and app user are informed once the request has been completed. For the next step, the quote, the requester is consulted, the developer is responsible, and the developer manager is accountable, and the requester manager is informed. So for each process step, we would then assign a responsibility for those positions associated with a process step. And you'll notice the color coding. I like to use a color coding when I create a responsibility matrix. It provides a quick visual uh, for what each role is for each activity or task. So a, a responsibility matrix may be used for a project life cycle. So as working through the project lifecycle takes place, the project manager is developing a project schedule and a resource management plan, and they may develop a RASCI or responsibility matrix to assign activities on the project schedule to the resources.
They also can be used during process improvement. So you, you saw the swim lane map on the previous slide. If we were going to evaluate that swim lane and improve that swim lane, we may develop, uh, define a new race RASCI matrix associated with that new swim lane process for rollout, training, and execution. A responsibility matrix is typically used with cross-functional teams to make help those teams perform at a high level. We're bringing together a lot of people from different departments or functions that don't always work together, and the RASCI matrix will help them uh, with their job responsibilities and functions. So these responsibility matrix can be used for training, for communication, and for various other reasons uh, within the organization. So don't forget you can download a complimentary copy of any of our toolboxes and these are available at valuegenerationpartners.com and simply select the download page and you can select any of these toolboxes that you wish to download in Excel format. Uh, these Many of these contain the RASCI template as well as many many other templates that can be used for each of these types of initiatives. Good luck with your responsibility matrix.